Now it's time for some coffee and then we can pack up and then we can go for a ride. Yeah. Easy now. Okay, there we are. Good girl. Make sure we didn't leave anything behind. No, no, I won't leave you behind. No? You coming? Okay. Let's get going. Hey, everybody. Hey, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to ask half of you to subscribe. I say half because half are and half aren't that are watching our videos. If you're enjoying the content, please smash the like button. I'll let you go back to the, watching the video. And uh, for me, I gotta go throw this ball. Okay, baby, oh, come on. Good girl. Oh, no, you got it yourself, okay. Oh, it's chilly this morning, I'm gonna put my gloves on. Oh, baby. So much better. <laughs> we'll ride down to Phillipsburg this morning, get on to the route that I had planned from the Lama Ranch. I was able to ride the first section of it, but then uh, got onto State 141. This left turn took me down with it because it's gonna be a nice road. Quickly there were signs saying private land, private bridge, and then got on to, I think it's Highway 1, State 1. It's, it's not an interstate, it's just a two-lane road that I'm on now. We'll, uh, we'll adapt and just keep rolling along, man. It's it's good. Yeah, beautiful terrain. The leaves on the aspens have turned a golden yellow. Montana has over 34 million acres of federal and state lands open to the public. This is not part of it. Please don't trespass. Respect private property, our heritage. Mira, Kamut has let us down big time. I've sorted out a modified route, which unfortunately I think uh, spends a lot of time on asphalt to Derby, but uh, hopefully it's not too busy. Check that out, Mira. Narrow, mountainous, winding gravel roadway 16 miles ahead. That's all the stuff we love. Holy moly. Definitely a prairie hill. Basically a rolling asphalt road. <laughs> that would be easy to, to ride, make some good distance. Except I got a Savage headwind. <laughs> ah. So, yeah. In the middle gear, doing 10k an hour. And probably pumping out something just around 300 watts to keep going. So, ay, ay, ay. But, you'll get in the mountains soon enough. And then that'll block the wind. And then we can just go uphill. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a beautiful view out here. We got ranch land. We'll just keep rolling through this grazing land until we hit the mountains.
Well, that was a good dinner. All right, ready? Yeah, doing a lot of that today. <laughs> I think I might have picked up a small little cold, maybe. A little something I don't feel 100%. So I'm glad I stopped early today. Uh, just over 60K. Not sure how many hours we were out there for. But uh, a lot of it was into a headwind, so it took a while to get that 60K. But now we're in a beautiful uh, canyon road that uh, follows a river to which I have forgotten the name. But it's nice. And then we have a nice little campsite here and I'm chucking frisbee. That's, that's my job. Dishes are done. We'll just pack up and get ready for tomorrow, I think. And then my little partner. Oh yeah, and we saw a moose today. That was cool. Thanks, nice, sweetheart. Are you ready for bed already? Take a little nap. Yeah. So that's my jacket. It was part of my pillow, but it's cold tonight, so Mira's tucked in here, and I put it over top of her. She seems very happy. Oh, I'll see you guys in the morning. It was cold last night. It was really cold. Both of us uh, woke up a lot. A couple reasons for that, uh, besides it being cold, my sleeping pad is very thin and small, so my feet are actually on the ground. And the sleeping bag I have is for summer conditions, hoping I can get through. I took out my jacket from my, my pillow setup and used that for Mira, and that helped a bunch. We cuddled quite a bit. We still woke up several times and then I think I can probably get away with uh, either probably wool socks big wool socks would uh, just keep my feet warm just finishing up coffee here bikes mostly packed up although it doesn't really look like it but the tent's gone packed away and foods packed away just got to pack up the stove and and change for the riding Mira's had breakfast and now we're on to frisbee and stick yeah. <laughs> You're all dusty. Oh my goodness. That's our typical morning. So today, riding to uh, Darby today, and then resupply and get onto the Western Wildlands route for this trip and work our way south. <laughs> We're entering the Bitterroot National Forest. Oh, this should be a fun road.
goodness. Spectacular fall colors. Huge canyons. These big deep valleys are amazing. Terrific mountain road. Let's see here, we got uh, I think about 20 more K to uh, Derby. So we'll, uh, and it looks like it's a flat road, slight tailwind, so that's good news. some thoughts coming to mind while we're riding on another piece of asphalt today Ooh, too much of that today hopefully that changes but part of that was necessary getting from uh, the Lama Ranch over to the Western Wildlands route and uh, the Western Wildlands uses this piece of asphalt to get to Darby so you can resupply get yourself a burger what did I have? I had a double barrel. <laughs> it's a double cheeseburger with pickle, lettuce, tomato, onion, mustard, and barbecue sauce topped off with two onion rings. Man, did I need that today. I was getting tired. That was, I don't know, 70 some odd K before stopping for a proper break. Hey, sweetheart. How are you doing? Yeah, we're almost at 100k. Just finishing up on some asphalt, get into the National Forest. And then it's stick time. Yes, it is. Who's that one? Oh, yeah. They're doing good. Snarl. Grrr. Grrr. I've had a gear explosion this morning, Mira. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Pine cones. Ready? <laughs> Hello, my sweetheart. Is it raining? No. There's hope up in those mountains. Looks like it's clearing out towards the southwest. But uh, that'll be nice. Prepare for the climbs ahead. We haven't ridden very far. <laughs> Whatever. Ready? Here. Roadside attraction. Let's look at a very old burnt tree. I wonder if it's burnt all the way through. I'm hoping the weather holds out for this portion of the trip, get us through Idaho and into low elevation Utah. Hey, sweetheart, how are you doing?
Hey Mira, that's where we're going. It's a uh, Horse Creek Pass right there. I think we enter Idaho there. Hey with that, happy? Happy, happy, happy girl. <laughs> Just doing your job, walking along. Well, the rain held off until the top of the pass here. We're almost there. Actually, it looks like it could be some hail in there. We're close to the to the top of it. It's been all day. Literally all day we've been climbing. Ready for the descent? We're at 2,600 meters. We've climbed almost 1,400 meters. Hey, hold on, hold on, baby. And we've only gone 52K, all of it uphill. Woo, 10K average. Oh well, you ready? I know. Let's get going, little doggy. Idaho, you know how to build mountain roads. Out of sight, and we're gonna come right down there. That's going to come in handy because I'm hungry. Well, what a difference 12 hours makes. Right foot is just completely frozen. You're a good girl. 